Welcome back to Knights. Anybody remember that game? I don't. I don't Knights into it. Dreams by Sega? <laughs> Thank you. You actually helped this bit work. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I meant. Yeah. Fuji, the one put, with the jester. Put, put that dream jester up floating floating across the screen right now. Did I did I accidentally strike a nostalgia nerve with you? <laughs> I've never played it. I just know it. Oh god, and me too. <laughs> I that's one of those oh, things. Man. What do you think the crowd's for? Maybe there's a celebrity in there? Hey! Was that seriously Kashiki over at the Croaky Panic? Hey. Wait, like, THE Kashiki? Sure looked like him. How's about we go and take another look? Huh? Wait, Wait a, sec, a sec, that's, that's Hanoka over there. Fuck you. Fuck you. My line. <laughs> oh my god, she is so much cuter in real life. Oh. I would totally kill for a body like that. Her face is to die for, too. Trendy only hires the cream of the crop, after all. Honoka, please marry me. Oh, uh, so they're all here to see Honoka. Honoka? Rindo, please, quick. Looks like she's registered as a model on some fashion site called Trendy and is idolized by millions of teenage girls. Fascinating. This would certainly seem to be the case. Famous for her on fleek fashion, she. Hey, hey Rain, dude. You think she's got something to do with our riddle? You know, fashion? Hmm, could be. Let's try and get a closer look. So, last time, the boys started fighting. They did. There must I be like a bajillion girls in this crowd. I can't wait to get a good look. Mm. Would there were only some way to dispose of these onlookers? Not a bad idea. Mm. We find something they care about even more than Honoka. That should might just do the trick. Hey, pull the fire alarm. Nah, I got, I got, uh, I got 10 yen on it being AGOG, the Prince of Apathy. <laughs> you, I'm not taking that bet. I don't want to lose 10 yen. <laughs> but yeah, the boys started fighting and it seemed to be a differing of priorities mm -hmm. uh, concerning what they should spend the day with and whether or not it's even worth it to do prep considering the game appears to be rigged which yeah <laughs> would you say that screen is overhead it is an accurate description of its position yes the key will reveal itself overhead when the vending machine takes the six designated digits the only thing it's revealing is static it normally shows all kinds of ads and stuff must be broken which means We've got to fix it in order to solve the riddle. But how? We don't have to do anything, my dude. Look over there. Hmm? A repairman. Such matters are best entrusted to a professional. Shall we wait for him to perform his handiwork? Yeah, hopefully it won't take long. Yeah, that's why he's glowing red. How come? He's not doing anything. Maybe he's not here to uh -huh. fix the screen. Or perhaps the problem lies elsewhere. Like where? Within. Of course! Within! Come on. Within what? Yes! I believe a scan is in order. <laughs> yes! Fret, you fucking idiot! I love you! <laughs> Alright, let's see what's up with this guy. I genuinely love Fret. Let's have a look. Oh no! I can't believe it. How could she dump me after an entire decade together? I Fuck! even said I'd forgive her for cheating on me. What a sap. That's pretty rough, bro. Can we get an F in the chat for the uh, for the electronics repairman whose wife cheated on him? Fuck. I mean, he said they could work through it, but still, it's... Uh, that's pretty rough. Such anguish must be a great burden to bear. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. That's just the noise talking, right? He'll meet someone new eventually. It's not the end of the world. Right. Come on, let's dive in there and help him out. <sighs> the mere thought of entering such a mind is enough to make one quail. At least give it a shot. Besides, it's the only way we can solve the riddle. That's true. Very well. I shall carry out my duty, but I shan't enjoy it. However, let it be known that whatever happens is within is no responsibility of mine. Huh? 
Uh, relax, it'll be fine. Okay. Recommended level 24. I think you're fine. I'm at 36, but I don't... I haven't played this in a week, because Fuji and I have been grinding. Oh no. We've been playing You've Demon not been Souls. Feeding, you, you have not been feeding my boy? I mean, it's... A, it's zero sum, because I haven't been playing. Yes, but you have not been feeding my children. I mean, I, if you want to take it that way. I mean, how else am I supposed to take it? You had one job, to feed my oh, kids. Oh, water. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. That was... <laughs> okay, so it's a geyser. Yeah. Just be careful. I said I'd forgive her for cheating on me, damn it. <sighs> Alright, let's take care of these guys first. Dude, I... That's rough, buddy. <laughs> yeah, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill the shark. Not in real life. Shark, sharks uh, don't deserve that much. No. Sharks are, sharks are great creatures. I actually read an article recently that said they're trying to rebrand the term shark attack as a shark encounter because most sharks do not seek out to attack people. Oh no, it's which a big is, noise. Which is fair. It's it's very fair. Is he weak to water? I mean, yep. it's a scorpion, so... How? What? 700. So, uh, Fret is currently using an Uber pin. Oh, that's why. Yep. Which, that makes sense. That tracks. Oh, cool, I golded it. Sweet. Ooh. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, there you go. That's good, that's good. Looking back, I guess we'd been drifting apart for a while. Now it's time to throw myself into my work and forget all about her! Oh god, that's okay, a big good. mood. <laughs> that's, that's... okay, but, okay, that's better. But, damn. Glad that's over. Indeed. Uh, it's not over. The screen's still busted. Come on, dude, do your job. Fix the thing. Oh? Lord Vindo, look! It's working, but, but what's that? What's all that supposed to be? Are you serious? This looks bro? like a bunch of shapes to me. Three, five, four, six, four, zero. Maybe. Oh, that's you. Maybe it means something. There's an arrow going from the triangle to the number three. And there's six shapes in total. You think this could be a clue to those digits? Once we've got to enter into the vending machine. Oh, yeah, you might be onto something, Reem, dude. Anyway, let's make a mental note of all of this. And head over to that vending machine! Yeah, I got it written down, don't worry. Damn, without me, without me Mani Moto, we're worse off than I thought, which is exactly why we need Neko. We gotta find him. <gasps> That's a wall. City's money exchange! Damn! <laughs> let's have a look. Looking for... Did we find the bacon in this area yet? We did, I right? Think, I think so. I think we did. Oh, hey, we were just having a discussion about this. So, these pins right here on the, uh, on, on Rindo's right, yeah. which he's facing now, those are old pins, and if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> none of them should show up in the game. That's probably correct, yes. Because D&B um, doesn't exist as far as we know, because D&B isn't a thing here yet. Sh actually, open up your threads. We can take a look at the uh, brands because I think a few of them carry over, and there's several new ones as well. Because you got Croaky Panic, which is a frog theme, Mono Crow, which is crow, uh, Tigre Punks, Punks is, was from the old one, is recurring. Yeah, uh, Ryugu is new, but it's draconic. Yeah, which would it takes place with Dragon Couture. Yeah, Natural Puppy is repeat. Coney Coney is rabbit. Uh, Jolie Baco is yeah, it's the rooster one. Puppy uh, Hog Fang, Gata Gata. I think Gata Gata is <sighs> Tiger. Is it Tiger based? I don't know. Because we've had Crow and Rooster, so I think there are doubles. Yeah. Gata Gata just feels like a tiger. Topo Topo. I don't know what that is. Topo Topo. 
We got Kony Kony, Ryugu, Gada Gada is something. Sh Shepherd, Shepherd House, House is of Sheep. Sheep. Hogfang. Gatonero Gato for the cat. And yeah. Gratinic. Okay. So they're being sold at resale shops. You ever seen a vending machine with numbered mm. cans like this? So it appear the button by each string corresponds to its respective number. Maybe if we enter the digits from that overhead display. Careful, Rain dude, don't mess it up. Relax, I've got this. Zero 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 one. Zero 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 zero. It's three four uh, three five four six four zero. Six. Oh, it's got the icon there. Isn't that nice? Yeah, right. Hmm. Let's hope this works. Hey. Oh. Something came out. Wait. Okay, what? so that's that's interesting because Ope is like, from what I understand, it's uh, it's a Midwestern thing of just like being like, oh, this is happening. Oh yeah, I I, I it, it is a thing, and I think I know I noticed when you responded to it. That's probably a translation thing. It's probably something like, oh yeah, <laughs> no no no. I feel like one of the one of the translators like is from the Midwest, and if you see this. And you are from the Midwest. Give me a shout out and tell me what, what your favorite kind of pizza is. If you say St. Louis, I'm gonna kill you. That's not the fucking Midwest. Something came out. <laughs> the number of corners in each shape served as our solution. As expected. The message has arrived. The key was revealed. After the vending machine took the six designated digits, mission accomplished. Ah. And that one had me stumped, but you two got it. Let's go knock out the next one. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had some time to look for Neku, though. Oh, so you're still set on recruiting him. You could really use someone like him on our team. Yeah, but who knows if he'll join us, let alone if we'll even see him again. Hmm. Yep. It's all good, though. Come on, Riddle Master Rindo, we still got work to do. Right. I think it's... I. It might be uh, an issue of... Um, Fred's insecurity... Because he's been, like, Rindo's friend for the longest time. Was was Kari a me or you? I don't know. Let's say it's you. Well, look who it is. Oh, hey, Candyman. What's up? Yeesh, what's sucked the life out of you, kid? The whole searching for Neku thing isn't treating you too kindly. It's treating us fine, I guess. So, something else is weighing you down. It's just... This game isn't exactly easy, you know? Mm. Incoming. Greetings. Greetings, sheeple of Shibuya. <laughs> if it isn't the conductor himself. Oh, hey, we are getting the terminology. So before, uh, before we recorded the session, we were talking about the previous game and the hierarchy of the Reapers. And as, fa as far as the first week, we only got... Um, we only got game master. We ne we never got conductor. Yeah, and conductor in, or composer. I I've been going over the secret reports. I expect something on that in a future episode. Uh, one of the things that they cover is in week two, the app that Joshua gets from Hanakoma is specifically supposed to track down the conductor Kitaniji, but Joshua tells Neku it's supposed to track down the composer, which it doesn't because why would he need an app to track himself? <laughs> uh, Wasn't his whole thing he was looking for the Shibuya River? Yes, he was He was actually trying to get a good glimpse at what Kitaniji was up to for his end of the deal. Which is like, right. you're actively cheating to try to figure out what the other side is doing. Ju doesn't tell me the confidence you have in your ability to complete the job, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. This is your game master, Shiba speaking. Hope you've been having fun on day one. Got some red hot news for you. Oh boy, can't wait to hear this. Hmm. One team has already completed today's objectives. Well, did that light a fire and they're the rest of you slow pokes? If you can't stand the heat, then this isn't the game for you. The temperature's gonna keep rising, will you? Yeah. I do. And with that, I bid you adieu. Dude, you opted us into this game. What do you mean it's not for us? Fuck you, man. I do to you too, buddy. Tell me, Candyman, do you Reapers like what you do? 
Hmm. Like it or not, a job's a job. You feel me? How come? I do, but, like, what's the point? What do you get out of forcing people like us to play this hmm. game? You've got an inquisitive streak in you, kid. I dig it. We're not doing it for our own enjoyment, that's for sure. So then why are you doing it? Think of it this way. The game's like one big talent show. We're looking for the best and brightest the real ground has to offer. They get sent here to play the game after they die. We evaluate their performance and see who comes out on top. Make sense? Yeah, but what happens to the top players? Some of them join the Reapers. Some of them rise even higher in the ranks. But why would they do that? And what might those higher ranks even entail? Management, mainly. Somebody's got to watch over the city, right? Not everyone sticks around, though. Some folks just go back to their lives in the real ground. In the end, the winners get whatever they want. So it's not about how many points you earn, it's about how proving how tough you are. Right. But I'm not talking you as a team. I'm talking you. Maybe you ought to focus a little less on Neku and a little more on yourselves. <sighs> but... If our team wins, that means each one of us wins, right? And if we can recruit a strong player like Neku, wouldn't that increase our chances of winning? Hmm. Suppose you got a point there, kid. No need to make yourself shine if somebody else can do it for you. Although I don't think that's... I don't think they had that in mind when they started this up again. Meh. Anyway, you kids got a big week ahead of you. How you survive is up to you. Just make sure you do. Laters. Oh, so they stopped running the game for a while. Man, we're really in over our heads here. I have a dreadful feeling our odds of returning home are ever dwindling. Let's not lose focus. We've got two objectives. Find Neku and figure out the rest of those these riddles. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Hmm. So, I caught something that I didn't speak up because I was expecting you to. Uh, mm hmm the thing that made us start talking about the terminology is because Karia called him the conductor. He then immediately called himself the game master as well. Yep. So. I, I caught that as well, but the dialogue mm, was happening. Yeah. So. I bought everything from here already. I This lady needs to keep doing whatever she's doing. Like, Something about little old ladies and clown wigs is just like, you know what? You do you. This mannequin's a little underdressed, huh? Gotta admit, sure knows how to rock a birthday suit. Fred. What the? I guess you could say that. Perhaps. Could this be the very mannequin we seek? Though I must say, I expected it to be much more challenging to locate. Right. Well, assuming that is the one we're after, what are we supposed to do about its stylish side? It is a valid question. What do you got for me? Quay? Hey, get a load of her. What about her? Something about her seems awful familiar. Familiar how? Look, she reminds me of someone, and you'll never believe who. Although I could be totally off base hey. here. If only there was some way to find out if I'm right. How about you try scanning her? Oh, great idea, buddy. I mean, I never promised it would work. But now he's got me curious. Maybe I'll give her a scan, too. Ah, uh, teenage boys. Kashiki undercover. <laughs> Stay calm, Kashiki. No one knows it's you. That guy just now totally thought you were a girl. Man, I ought to thank my makeup artist for teaching me how to beat my mug so well. <laughs> Holy crap, I was right! Looks like our boy Kashiki's gone incognito. Actually, this gives me an idea. I mean, he is number one on Trendy right now. Number one in what? Their monthly ranking of Dreamboat actors. And he got all dolled up so people wouldn't recognize him. Makes sense. I mean, you heard how those girls were gurgling over him. If we remind them about, about Kashiki, I bet they'll be here in a heartbeat. Hmm. That would help us get a closer look at Hanoka. Fascinating. You would have us expose him to the thirsty masses? Sounds Jesus. pretty cruel when you put it that way. <laughs> Jesus. I never said that. Hmm. 
Well, we could make those girls stay by giving them a chance to encounter with Kashiki. And he'd be more than happy to meet with big fans like them. Don't know how happy he'll be, but we've got a riddle to solve, so if Kashiki's here, we just have to get those girls over here too. They already said we s they saw him, so we need only need to remind them that they did. That's a little fucked okay. up. Because this Wait, this dude is literally just trying to live his like lead a life privately, mm -hmm. to the point where he has to like dress up as a woman to get away. So I feel bad for that, bro. <laughs> like <Yeah>. shit, man. <laughs> Don't. It's kind of a dick. I ha dick I hate move. when the game's like be an asshole to specific people for no reason. Wait, what? It's these girls, right? Yeah, you need to remind them. Gotta focus. Oh, there it is. I thought there was a thought that I had to like check out first. Oh boy, it's my least favorite mechanic in the game. The one you suck at. I I don't know how it's supposed to work. There he goes. Toon Toon! Try to remember. Okay. Alrighty, that should do the trick. Now we simply wait for the herd to begin their migration. Any minute now. Let's see if they're ready to move. Huh? Kashiki's here? Are you serious? I'm like 86% sure he just walked past us. I've had enough of Noka anyway. Let's find that dream boat. Great. Oh, can't wait to ask him to marry me. Okay. Damn. Okay, no, I, I I actually let's do a thought experiment. He says yes. Imagine the fucking headlines. <laughs> you wanna run by me what the headlines would look like? Uh Notorious pop idol Kashiki marries rando T woman. Um, so very similar to uh, the the Crown Prince of England, Harry uh, marries Meghan Markle. Well, no, because at least there's a relationship there, and it while it may have come out of left field, there was at least a foundation. This is literally, oh my god, I'm your biggest fan. Marry me, sure. Mm hmm. Uh, the, the headlines show up, and he's like, Oh, hey, when did you meet her? Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, pretty face is a powerful you, thing. You had me at, will you marry me? <laughs> you, you had me at, oh, no. I must admit, that girl appears to be quite stylish. Damn! Huh. All right, what's up? Damn! Yeah, that's gotta be Hanoka. Wow, she's as cute as cotton candy. Fred, if you say so, she is jealous, huh? Wait, I don't get it. What's her style got to do with that mannequin? Perhaps we were supposed to make the mannequin resemble her in some way. Hmm. 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 Wait, what if we make the mannequin wear her outfit? Oh, you're giving me chills, Rin, dude. That's genius. Agreed. It's certainly a plausible solution. All right, let's have a look at that mannequin then. Oh, wow, she just shows up. Yo. Yeah, okay. Fucking great style. That's hella fashion. This coming from two guys who wouldn't know. <laughs> Listen. Li who have no idea about fashion. I have a friend who is super into fashion and such, and I'm... I'm sure she would have had a similar reaction. This mannequin. It must be the one mentioned in the riddle. Sure looks like it. In that case, I would presume we ought to clothe it like that model. Is it uh, really okay for us to play dress up with this thing? No one's looking, pal, and hey, they couldn't see us even if they were. They'll just notice its makeover later and be like, ooh, fierce outfit. Mm, I guess so. Come on, let's give it a shot already. We got a pick of Honoka, that's all we need. All right, all right. Hey, Franz, quick question to see if you're not a- Damn it! <laughs> I was- What? I was gonna ask before it showed the picture. Okay, Fret took a picture, that's- or, or Rindo, that's a little- that's a little skeevy. I was gonna ask what color her eyes were <laughs> to make sure that you could actually 
like you weren't focused on other things. <laughs> this looks okay, right? Hmm. Yeah, this definitely matches her outfit. All right. Yeah, I was um, I was going to say like what color were her eyes? Sure. All right. This should work, right? I disagree. Why don't you try taking another look at that picture? I was going for the shirt. Beanie. There we go. Bink. This looks okay, right? Mm. Yeah, this definitely matches her outfit. Uh, coat? Yep. Hmm? Okay, please be right. Do it. Moment of truth. The mannequin has revealed its stylish side. You have solved the riddle. Phew. Yeah. Well, that's one riddle down. Time to move on to the next. I'm gonna send a message to the Reaper saying why couldn't uh, Kashiki in disguise have been the stylish one? Mm. Hey, what about that? That's your line. What about that bag Honoka was rocking? Kind of weird we didn't need to put that on the mannequin, don't you think? Mm. I mean, that, that thing tied the whole outfit together, and it was pretty cute, too. Uh, <laughs> Just me? Different strokes, I guess. Mm, guess so. I was gonna say wrong store. <gasps> We've already ah. solved the first two riddles. All that's left is one about posing for a photo sticker and today's journey. Mm. Whatever that means. Well, our wanderings today have been restricted to Takeshita Street. First, we opened that gate, which wasn't actually part of the mission. Then we bombarded those with these three riddles. Uh, huh? I feel like there was something else. Something we saw over and over. The heck was it? Come on, think! <laughs> Alright, we saw a bunch of Gato Nero stuff. Now that you mention it, I do recall witnessing a Mr. Mew many a time. Perhaps we were meant to draw inspiration from him for the riddles' poses. Yeah, it's definitely worth a shot. Let's start by heading to a photo booth. So Mr. Muse are Mr. Muse, huh? <laughs> Fucking Nagi's face. I mean, unless you have a better idea. Yep. Nope. So, photo booth? Mm. Yep. Shall we? Yeah. Well, we'll get to that photo booth next time on Neo The World Ends With You. Yeah! I I don't I don't like the like the dissonance that's happening between Rindo and Fret right now. I do. I'm theorizing it's just Fret's insecurity and being like, wait, no, I'm your only friend. That's why I love it. Because he's a he's actively looking for a new partner. Yeah, man, we got without pro without prompting from a third party. We got to get that fucking Usopp Luffy look. shit. Get that self-deprecating dynamic uh-huh well thanks for watching this episode make sure you like share comment subscribe uh follow us on the social medias um i'm drawing a blank on on comments i uh, just oh i am drawing a blank what the hell hand me down stores i'm i'm preferential to goodwill no, so that's close by. Not, not. F What's the best item you've ever gotten from a secondhand store? Um, all of my used video games. That's pretty good. I got uh one of the, I think it was probably the second edition run of uh Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective games for like fifty cents at a nice little thrift shop in Morro Bay. That was nice. That's th awesome. That it was a great time because I'm like, oh shit, they've got it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, let us know what your uh, thrift store finds have been. Uh, and join us next time. Take it easy. Uh -huh.